Hello, hello. Go, 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 go. My heart is That was fun. Hello, I'm Margaret. And I'm Russ. And we're with Michaela. Join our adventure to save Africa's wildlife. I will take you and Russ to the release site, Silka said. We were planning our visit to Bambelela with family in June 2017. The grandkids and adults were invited to visit Nikela, the growing adopted young vervet monkey in kindergarten, while Silka took us to visit Monty's troop. This troop of over 50 vervets had recently found a second chance at living free, thanks to Silka and her team. Little did we know, back in March of 2014, during our first visit to Bambelela, that three years later we would sponsor a troop release. Not only that, the release of some of the very monkeys whose enclosure cover gave way during that deluge. That first visit to meet Silka was fraught with complications. The heaviest rainfall in years kept Silka, her staff, and team of volunteers scrambling to keep the 200 monkeys in rehab dry. Water pooled on tarp covers, rivers ran through the enclosures, and the rain kept falling. Russ and I were on the fenced-in covered porch of the volunteer camp when the alert sounded. Without hesitation, all hands rushed to the collapsing enclosure. Within minutes, they were drenched. Water poured off the slanted, broken roof tresses. Keeping all the monkeys inside was, of course, the first concern. No monkey was injured. All was good. Unbeknownst to us, in this very enclosure were some of the monkeys that would soon become part of the newly forming Monty Troop. When we returned, two years later in October 2016, we saw the fully formed troop of over 40 monkeys in their large, spacious, final rehabilitation enclosure. They'd gone from being orphaned, injured or abused monkeys to a healthy looking troop. These rescued individuals, once hugged and loved by their human caretakers, now only had one person enter their habitat. This person, Mornay, kept his distance, discouraging any interactions so these monkeys would become less and less accustomed to humans. Once Silka deemed Monty's troop ready for release, which, among a host of other indicators, includes the birth of a baby or two, supposedly this solidifies the troop, as monkey babies are not only raised by their mothers, but the babysitters she chooses to assist her. The years raising up a troop are arduous. However, it is frequently nothing in comparison to the challenge of finding the right release site and getting the permits and authorizations needed to return the troop to the wilds. How Silka does it, year after year, troop after troop, is outstanding. To date, 50 troops of between 20 and 50 monkeys each have been given a second chance at life the way nature intended it. That's why the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of these monkeys at Bambelala is a miracle. In January 2017, the stars lined up, and 54 monkeys, including 12 babies, comprising Monty's troop, were ready to move to the release site. A rehabilitated troop is not simply taken to their new home and immediately set free. First, they are released to a smaller enclosure on the site. Their caretaker also lives in an enclosure nearby. After a few days of acclimatizing, the gate is opened. The monkeys are free to explore. Most are cautious. Most return to the familiarity of the enclosure for the night without much coaxing. As time goes on, the gate is left open day and night. Once the monkeys find new hiding and resting places, their enclosure is broken down. Their caretaker stays on site for about three months. Fast forward to June 2017. Our family is marched off by their escorts to the rehab center to visit the young ones in kindergarten. Silke and Mornay, the troops caretaker, drive us out to the release site. We enter a private game reserve. Wildebeest and zebra are drinking at a waterhole. Trees and vegetation are plentiful. 
As we bounce along the two track and come around a corner, Silka says, There they are! Mourne jumps out with his crate of millies, corn on the cob, and monkeys appear of nowhere. He tosses them left and right. Some come running in. Others hold back, preferring to rob a fellow troop mate, overcoming too close. That's good, says Silka. The troop is progressing as they should. A couple of monkeys have joined the wild troop, while one of the wild troop members is now hanging around with Marty's gang. It's amazing to watch these monkeys enjoy their freedom. Right now they're still being visited and fed. This is how Silka monitors them, watches for any signs of trouble. For now, this troop is adjusted well. Soon the supplemental feeding will stop, and they will only be checked on periodically. This journey from rescue through rehab and on to release is nothing short of miraculous. Thanks to all of you, Pambelela, who make it happen.